just dead. If you try to do the auger, nothing. If you try to do the drive, nothing. Both batteries show completely dead. Well, somebody flipped the switch. We went officially into winter. We got more than six inches of snow last night. And in today's test, we're gonna see the electric snowblower, that Toro 60 volt snowblower with two batteries, fully charged, but negative temperatures. How much can we blow snow before those batteries are dead? Okay, so we will be using the hand warmers today. I've got gloves that I'll be putting on also. But like I said, about six inches of snow, a little bit more in some areas because it was very windy. And we'll be using two batteries in the Toro Flex Force to see how much snow we can push. I wanna mainly get out to the end of the driveway and get that section done on the tar and chip area. Let's give it a go. I thought maybe we could just get out to the end of the driveway without snow blowing. We won't be able to, so let's aim the chute with the wind so it's not blowing in our face. Turn the chute on here. And then we'll turn the drive wheel on on the left hand and we make it some progress.
so far it's doing great zero dots down on the uh, batteries and we did the whole end of the driveway for Mackenzie to get in with the volt and one path the whole length of the quarter mile driveway so now we'll do another path and see how much we have left Okay, let me show you what we've done so far and the settings we're using on the Toro snowblower. You can see I do have the hand warmer on and forward I'm traveling at this speed, so not full throttle, but two back from it. I do not have eco mode engaged, you can hear the difference. I do not have that engaged. Both of my batteries are still totally full. The light is on all the time. Go ahead and turn this off. Okay, so I was a little bit wrong. This just shows you that there's a battery in there. This shows you how much is left. We've used three dots of each battery, one dot remaining. And that explains why when you push this, it shows one dot still lit up. This one, same thing, one dot. So what did we get accomplished with three dots of each battery? Let's find out. So my goal was before Mackenzie got home with the Chevy Volt, to get the end of the driveway and 300 feet where it's tar and chipped all cleared out with the snow blower, that's exactly what we did. Let's take a look here. Kind of looks like an airport runway in that six inches of snow. We made about a nine to 10 foot wide path the whole way to the end of the driveway. I do have my skid shoes set so I don't grab too much of that tar and chip. You can see I'm a little bit above the surface of the gravel because I don't want to grab all that and throw it with the snow blower. You'll have to pardon my voice, I have a little bit of a cold, I have a cough drop in right now. This is a light fluffy snow so it wasn't really hard to blow, it was pretty easy task for the snow blower. But again, I wasn't sure, could I do 300 feet long, 9 or 10 feet wide, uh, and the answer is yes, we did within those two battery charges. You can have a third battery in this snow blower. We do not have a third battery, but there is a spot to put an additional battery that would give you longer life, maybe a little bit more power. Someone had asked in a previous video, how many car spots can you clear with this electric snow blower before the battery goes dead? This was kind of a test to answer that question, another viewer request. I don't know about spots in a parking lot, but I do know you can clear 300 feet long, nine to 10 feet wide on tar and chip in minus temperatures. The real fuel is minus one, actual temperature is single digits. And like I said, about six inches of snow, I was using the hand warmer, so that uses a little bit of the battery, but very impressed with what we could do with the electric version of this Toro snowblower. All right, it's pretty cold out. I'm getting pretty cold, but we'll go ahead and use the snowblower the rest of the way in. We only have one dot left in each battery, so I'm not sure what happens when they run totally dead, but we, will, might, we might find out in the next about 400 feet of snow blowing. The 300 feet where we had the tar and chip done is a little bit less than half the length of the driveway. So let's find out when she runs completely dead if it just stops dead in its tracks or if there's any type of beeping warning you that you're almost dead. 
you enjoyed this video, please give us a big thumbs up. Leave those comments down below. If you thought two batteries in an electric snowblower could clear 300 feet long by nine to 10 feet wide, I'd be interested to know. I honestly did not think it would do that much. That seems like more than advertised, but remember, it's only about six inches of really light snow, so not a horribly hard task for this machine. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you the next time. Let's do another 400 feet here and see what happens. Still one dot for each battery. We'll still run it not in eco mode. Leave the hand warmer on, run at the same speed. Hopefully the snow won't blow in our face. I turn the auger on first, see which direction the snow is kind of blowing. You can use the quick stick to adjust where you want that to go. Then once you pull the drive handle, this auger handle will remain in the down position until you stop driving or until you hit a bump or something like that. See the wind change directions i'm holding the camera so i only have one hand we'll just adjust the quick stick over this way Well, there's our answer on what happens when the battery goes dead. It does just stop dead. There is a beeping noise, and let me show you the display. Just dead. If you try to do the auger, nothing. If you try to do the drive, nothing. Both batteries show completely dead. And it is giving us a beeping warning that the battery is dead. So how far do we make it after that 300 feet by nine to 10 feet? Well, we are doing a pass through some pretty heavy snow. This is a wind-blown area. This is probably 8 to 10 inches deep. And we got probably 200 feet in that track of the very deep snow. You can see it coated the snowblower pretty good. But again, pretty impressive that we could do all that with one battery charge. Obviously, if you were counting on this to be the machine that would clear your whole driveway and you had a quarter-mile driveway like us, that wouldn't be a great plan. You'd need multiple batteries as backup to keep snow blowing. But for clearing the end of the driveway, this would be great. When I got this out to use it today, I didn't have to worry about changing the oil, didn't have to worry about checking the gas, it was ready to go. So I just popped the batteries in that were freshly charged in the basement, came out here and moved some snow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again the next time. Have a great day. If you're in an area like us where you're finally getting some snow, Enjoy it, but stay warm because it is really cold out today. And I was looking forward to watching the Buffalo Bills play the Steelers today, my two favorite teams. That game got postponed to tomorrow. We'll see who wins at 4.30 between the Bills, my favorite team, and the Steelers, my second favorite team.